Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is Slavik. Good to see everybody and welcome to the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collectives, let's take a look. What message do I have for you today? What messages do I have for you today from this wonderful deck? We have Midas Touch. Reversal of fortune, wealth, prosperity, and success. This is an incredible, uh, incredible card. In the bottom of the deck, I have victory. Victory, adventure, cunning. It's a victory, victory over some sort of cunning individuals. Cunning individuals in your life that are constantly trying to obtain victory against you. This is, this is your, this is your victory. This is their defeat. It's a victory over cunning individuals. But first, let's take a look here. I feel like for the longest time, it almost you left not your you lived not your own life, okay? Um, maybe by force you were placed in a position where you are today. You had to fight for yourself. You had to defend yourself. So time has arrived where you actually there's going to be reversal of fortune, right? Golden hand, golden hand. I feel like you're ready to receive this abundance, money. A golden hand spe specifically speaks of money, speaks of prosperity, speaks of wealth. Or maybe potentially somebody have stolen this from you. So now it's a time when everything has to be returned back to its original owner, to its original lawful owner, and that is you, okay? So uh, the Midas touch, once again, this is, um, the story goes that it was, it's, there was a legendary king called Midas, and he had a golden touch, okay? So this is often indicates that you are about to experience a sudden and positive reversal of fortune. Where money was once scarce, now it arrives in abundance. Suddenly, you cannot seem to put a foot wrong financially. Your talents are recognized and rewarded. Your business is profitable and all of your ideas are readily turned into cash in the bank, right? Remember that King Midas, everything touched turned into gold? So I feel like this is what exactly coming towards you. Money, prosperity, success, wealth. You're recognized. And in regards of purses, which is once again, keyword, a victory over cunning individuals, cunning individuals, <clears throat> that have wronged you. So when Perseus cuts off the hat of Medusa, because that's exactly what it is, Medusa, the snake, right? The cunning snake. He claims it as a war trophy and uses its power to defeat his enemies and win the hand in marriage of Andromeda. So when this card comes up through a reading, Perseus card indicates that you will be challenged by another in some way. And you will need to use all your skills and cunning to meet this challenge. This card also indicates suggests a time for adventure is about to begin, but this adventure will involve many challenges along the way. You will have to meet each one of these challenges in order to progress any further. Okay, but the thing is once again, you you're not afraid of any challenges. You're not afraid of any challenges. Okay. So let's clarify here exactly in regards of Midas, the King Midas, the golden hand. So what is this about more into depth? Seven of cups, six of cups. Once again, whatever it is you're dreaming of, will manifest itself. Whatever it is you dream, seven of cups, many dreams, many wishes, many fulfillment, successful partnership, recognition, offers. Knight of pentacles, two of pentacles, two of swords. Money, money, money. If you may potentially, like I said, because I do feel that that there was a restriction down here. It's either self restrictions that you placed before yourself, okay? Or there could be somebody else. And once again, taking into combination the card of Persis. 
is a man-made restriction for you to obtain success. Someone may artificially try to prevent you to be successful and have your wish fulfillment. Or for some of you, a very small group of you, this is, could be your own internal fears, <clears throat> your own internal restrictions that you place before yourself, okay? But regardless, things are changing. Clarified pursuits. What is this about? It's a judgment. It's a judgment. It's a judgment upon the individuals that done you wrong. I don't see any, any complicated challenges ahead of you. Nothing that you cannot handle. I think your biggest opponent, biggest opponent that tried to prevent your fortune because I see specifically there was a restriction made, intentionally restriction made in your life and in your destined path. So whatever, whatever these restrictions was made by, by this snake, um, judgment, it's a judgment. Who is this snake here? Who is this snake? Yeah, see, it's transformation, it's ending. It's ending. Maybe the issue had to do with some sort of lover's card, romantic relationship. I see family here. Family, romantic, toxic. See, toxic lover. Toxic lover or because of a toxic lover. This has happened to you. See, obsession, two of cups. Judgment upon this individual. They showed me some sort of king of cups. King king of cups, some sort of masculine here that did this. Unfit, mentally unfit, obsessed, ill, ill person. That is about to be judged for everything he did. Is some sort of very obsessive, toxic person. Toxic person. That will be removed from your life. Will be removed from your life. This is, could be, like I said, uh, an individual, maybe that you rejected. You didn't want nothing to do with, it, with this person. You said, stay away from me, get out of my life. I'm not interested in you. But yet that person, by the devil, obsessed with you. There's this obsession and this sick attachment towards you. This is one scenario. For some of you, this is, could be because of some sort of masculine. But either or, this is, could be a romantic situation. Clarify the situation. I have Poseidon. Emotions, deep feelings, turmoil. Okay. Some sort of, some sort of deep feeling, unhealthy feelings that this person have had. And tree is in reversing here. You didn't, you didn't want to have family with this person. You didn't want to be with this person. You chose another path. You chose another path. And because you maybe chose another path and you rejected this uh, individual, okay? Or whatever happened. That person decided to seek vengeance. Decided to seek vengeance. Emotional, see water and water. Could be a water sign. Poseidon is also a water. Water, water. A lot of water. And also toxicity, obsessions, obsession, toxicity. What else about this King of Cups? You can tell me. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, he partnered up with another female here to cause you harm. Could be a water sign and earth sign. So these snakes are out. These snakes are out your path. So meaning that justice will be served, they will be judged for what they did to you. On a positive side, I do have a many blessings. Like I said, you're gonna be, you're going to be, you know, a golden hand. No matter what you do, what you touch, will bring you abundance, will bring you prosperity, will bring you money. Things are changing here. These two individuals that cause you harm, they're, they're obsessed with you. Okay, toxic, obsessed, toxic. Especially this masculine is cannot let you go. What did these two do? What did these two do? What did they do? <clears throat> oh, 
What did they do? So female shows as materialistic, narcissistic, Highly unlikely she's natural blonde. She most likely dyes her hair blonde. In regards of masculine, bitter, angry, sick, unfit. There's just some sort of by the devil and a moon card sick obsession with you. Could, could represent sexual obsession. Obsession with you. Tell me more about these two. Okay, there is a king of pentacles here, king of swords. Oh, wow, this is like a whole arsenal. The whole arsenal here involved. Money. Money, it was some sort of money deal. Look, look, they all showed up here. Obsession was money. They don't want to lose money. That's what it is. So these two could be a couple. Could be a couple. Queen of pentacles, king of cups. Could be a couple. They don't have to be that specific astrological sign. But we also have another arsenal of, of people. We have fire sign female. We have king of swords. We have king of pentacles. Two females, three males. And everybody here fighting about what? Abundance and money. Some sort of corruption done with money. What was this corruption in regards of money? Mice stole it. Rats lied, deceitful, lying, cunning, trying to steal, take away, right? What does a mice do? They're infested. It's kind of like I feel your whole life was infested with these rats when they entered your life, right? So it's time for them to go. It's time for them to go. They're trying as, as hard as they can to prevent prevent your success and your wealth, just so you know. But once again, with a strong indication of pursuits, I it, it won't be possible. It won't be possible. These snakes are defeated. Just like Medusa, how many snakes are in her head? Who can tell me? Write in comments. How many snakes were in her hair? Because her hair were made out of serpents, right? That's, I feel like, how many people were involved in this whole corruption thing. And it was mostly all about money. And they trying to achieve victory. They wanted to achieve victory. They wanted the reward. By utilizing cunning techniques. And this is a matter of a big money involved. Big money involved here. I feel like, especially for these three. Fire sign female, pentacles, king of swords. Everybody got a cut of some sort of money. I get an idea of money, money, money. They're too concerned about money. They're, they're liars. Clarify this card. Seven of Swords and Mice. Andromera. Frozen. In action. See? <clears throat> frozen and in action. It's like you face this dragon, this beast. Right? Andromeda. So Andromeda was the maiden who was about to be sacrificed to a sea serpent. When she was rescued by who? Perseus. There you go. Perseus. Comes to the rescue. Right? So this is Perseus could also be associated with some, with some person that is rescuing you. Or will come in to your rescue. Right? Because I feel like you were set up here intentionally by these snakes. So once again, we have Pursues and we have Andromeda. Andromeda and Pursues, right? So this Andromeda about to be sacrificed, but Pursues, on his way back from defeating Medusa, okay? Defeating this Medusa, in other words, this corrupt psychopath. And of course, she later become his wife. So this is actually could be your potential someone special that rescue you from this dragon, this beast, this sea snake. Okay. Um, because like I said, I feel like you were frozen for a long time. You were frozen. Everything in your life was frozen. 
but I need you to know you were frozen because of the manipulation of these deceitful snakes. That's exactly why you were frozen. Because that abundance that always meant to be yours, this fortune, was stolen from you. Was frozen from you by the manipulation of these rats. But I feel like it's ending. It's ending, right? And I also feel like it was hard. You were, you were dealing with this group of beasts, of sick, unprecedented, sociopathic beasts. And, and yes, you didn't know what to do at this time. You were afraid to make a move, right? You couldn't escape from these monsters. You, this was also could mean that you already been through trauma. But I also feel you were chained and put before these beasts. Now, this King of Cups, this sociopathic, delusional, sexually obsessed masculine was you, and this jealous, narcissistic female, okay, they, they initially started this. But I feel like the true beasts were in the face of these corrupt individuals. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, and Queen of Wands. Now, they could be connected to, to some sort of system, because I still have a chain here, so you, you could have not moved. Even if you wanted it to escape, you couldn't, you were chained. You were forced to be put in this position because these manics were too obsessed with their financial position and stability. They did not care about justice. They only cared about money. And what is the way for them to make money corruptedly? There was a serious corruption here. You were forced to face this manic but the initiator were these two, I feel like it. Without doubt, this King of Cups is obsessed with you, sexually obsessed. And this one just jealous, like I mentioned. And if you're waiting right now to, for somebody to come in to help you resolve this issue, uh, here's your pursuers coming in. So I feel like this is ending. This is ending. Um, these beasts are no longer going to continue manipulating your life. This is coming to an end. What else you can tell me about this um, corruption that involves a large sum of money? We have Knight of Wands. It's a secret. They acted in secret, okay? They acted in secret. But uh, at the end of the day... The antics coming in. They don't even see it coming. They don't even see it coming. Mm -hmm. Right now, delusional, trying to secretly seek revenge against you, yada, da, 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 da. Slandering. And then there goes Four of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay. I have Hierophant, Eight of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. Okay, well. They're gonna leave you. They will be forced to leave you, okay? They will be forced to leave you. Since these two came in as initiator, what is the relationship between these two? Woman. The, the initiator was a female. The female snake. Okay, she's a snake. And she's the one that caused you problems. Mountain. She's the one that restricted, like I mentioned earlier, your movement in life. Two-faced Medusa. That's probably a best name. Okay, Medusa. She truly is. Truly, truly is. A true snake. A true snake in the face of a woman. So she wanted to cause you problems in life. Mountains is about barriers. It's about problems because it's difficult to pass over the mountain. And often for you to even climb the mountain, it takes a long time. So this snake, this female, materialistic, narcissistic, sociopathic female, along with this sexually obsessed king of cups, caused you problems. Now, what are the relationship between these two? What are the relationship between this pentacles and this king? Queen of cups. Okay, so she wanted to barricade 
your relationship i feel like obsession was a broken heart and third party okay did not wanted you to be once again a couple did not wanted you to be together i have also high priestess here i have the devil here okay wanted to cause you problems and have caused you problems legally so that was the intention of this obsessed narcissistic female she wanted you not to be with somebody because at the end of the day there was a problem she caused you a problem she could have been by the lower scar the third party she could have been the other woman okay secret obsessed secretly obsessed are they together right now these two are they together Uh, there's a lot of lies here there's another female here involved as well older female one younger one older by the joker of manipulations a lot of lies here a lot of lies the joker could could represent by the devil all kinds of things love spells all kinds of things the heart is locked money key joker but for you it's okay i said um, for you i feel like things are gonna work out very well so you don't need to be concerned but like i said the games were played to restrict your happiness with some romantic partner she played games there was a dirty game there was a joker there was a um, games um, did not want you to be happy okay did not want you to be happy see nine of cups comes up happiness manipulations nine of wands five of pentacles King of Swords, one card flip over. There's another masculine here, also a liar. Could hold some sort of position of authority that had a play. I have Justice card here. I have Law Enforcement. I have all these. So, so yeah, artificially, you there was an artificially created problems for you, like I said, to chain you down. So you not going to be in relationship with somebody that's what i see very twisted games but like i said this is all over this is one last long the medusa is defeated okay now what can you tell me about this king of cups the liar the liar the liar lied lied maybe two of pentacles play games in secret secretly played played games maybe had somebody else maybe you trusted this person manipulation lies deception so i feel like they were in it together here see two of cups lied to you that they care for you lied to you that they loved you but this alone this whole time had somebody else that was all a lie. See, moon card. Lie. <coughs> yeah. Sorry about that. A lie that they maybe wanted to be with you, wanted to have family with you, wanted to marry. It was all stage. It was all a game. It was all twisted game. Even though you trusted this person. You trusted. You're lucky you walked away. You're lucky you walked away and took a new path. It's a liar. Did you expect it that this individual would have lied to you? Did you expect it that? Justice card, two of wands. Yeah, you were disappointed. You were disappointed because you trusted this person. You didn't know this person is capable of doing what he did to you. Mm-hmm. This aggression, aggression towards you, right, King of Swords? This aggression. It's, it's all manipulation of this snake. That's all it was. But it doesn't matter, like I said, I feel like this whole community, everyone here that was responsible for what happened, they all will be 
Will they defeat it? Will they defeat it? So don't give up. Don't give up. What advice do I have for you? Advice for you. The golden, the golden fleece. Acquiring wealth, risk, and work. Once again, it's all coming back to this prosperity, financial abundance, money, stability, okay? So this is the Jason and the Argonauts went on a previous journey to find and bring back the fabled golden fleece of the winged ram. And this card suggests that you will certainly be able to acquire wealth, but only through your own hard work. This card don't link a windfall or a stroke of good fortune, rather that it means that financial security will come to you as a direct result of your own efforts. In short, you will get out what you put in, okay? Meaning that continue working hard. Do not give up. Do not give up, okay? All right, my wonderful collectives, this is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.